Hey, and welcome back to Tesla Northwest and EVs. I know I'd promised I was gonna be making more videos, but then the weather here in Washington went wacky on us. And honestly, I just wasn't very motivated to go out in the snow and the freezing temperatures. But now, sun's starting to come out, well, kinda, and we're gonna be doing some more stuff. And so in this video, uh, when you join us on the flip side, I'm gonna be installing a Honcho Smart Expansion Dock. And you're gonna wanna check this out because it's got some cool features if you're an Uber driver or just a parent, it opens, and it opens the doors for you and manual preconditioning of the battery. So join us on the flip side. I'm going to install the thing real quick. I'll talk you through it and then we'll test it out and see how it works. All right, folks. Thanks. All right. Hey, so thanks for joining us again here on the flip side. We're going to be installing what is uh, they're calling a Honcho, that's the manufacturer. And if you check in the description of this video, I'll have a link and also there'll be a card at the end of the video uh, with a link to Honcho. They make great EV products. If you've watched my channel before, you've seen I've installed a little heads up display, uh, not a heads up display, but a small uh, driver display already for things like the speedometer and whatnot. And I can show it to you real quick. So they make a good product. And they asked me if I would try this out. What is it? Well, it is, this guy right here. It's $98.99 online. It is, uh, again, called the Model 3 and Y Smart Quick Expansion Dock, and it's for years 21 plus. So model-wise, 21 and newer, or Model 3's 21 and newer. But now with the refresh, right, they'll probably have another one of these coming out for the Highland. Inside, love Honcho stuff. And remember, if you use my discount code, Tesla Northwest, you'll get 20% off of their stuff. Here we can see it comes with, in a nice little box, I love their stuff because they don't over package. QR codes for installation, but you don't need those if you're watching this video. And then we've got the smart expansion. We've got a pry bar tool here, a wiring harness, and a module. That's what we're gonna put in, and that's what comes with this uh, kit. It's pretty straightforward. We only gotta pop one panel off in the back of the center console. And so when we do that, We'll install our module, or our harness in our module, and then we'll slide in the smart expansion dock. One quick thing I wanna point out, oftentimes these kits come with a little pry tool, but if you're gonna be doing this pretty often, which I do, I picked up a nice set from my hardware store. They're dash and door panel pry tools. So, come on, join me over here. Let's see if we can pop this panel off without breaking Amos. So this is the panel. As per the instructions, it's the bottom of the rear center console. And so we're going to pry it off. I'm gonna use their pry tool at first and we'll see how it goes. And if you're a little nervous about this, don't worry, so am I. Whoop. I'm always worried I'm gonna break something when I'm working on these guys. There we go. You can see we just kind of worked it around. I'm gonna to go to this side now. And we can hear the nice little pops. And now I'm gonna reach to the sides and I'm gonna pull. Yep, and it's gonna come off just nice. Don't wanna be too rough. Nice and easy like that, okay? So our back panel popped off. Next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna open up this harness and we're gonna plug our harness in. So unplug, I'm gonna go grab the harness and the module. All right, so here we can see, folks, this is my module. And if you want to pull back a little bit, hun, you can. This is my wiring harness in that goes in between so that I can plug this module in. So first, we'll go ahead and hook this up. And hopefully, you can see what I'm doing okay. So that side, good. Bend this back. And good. Now we're plugged in. Everything's uh, making noises again. And now we have our little wire pigtail for the module. So here's our module. We'll go ahead and plug it in how it makes sense. There's little guides. And it's plugged in. Beautiful. And the little blue LED is on and there is a reset button. So we'll go ahead and push this stuff back in here and we'll pop our trim piece back on and I will catch you on the flip side. 
All right, hey folks, thanks again for joining us. We just got done taking the back of our center console out. We scabbed in the wiring harness honcho scent, and then we plugged in a wiring module. We saw we had the blue light. You saw how to reset the module if we have problems. And in a minute, I'll show you what I did to put that trim piece back on. It literally just snaps back in, and you can see that. But we've got two things left, and that's a good sign that you're doing something right when you only have the things you expect still left over. And so one is a cable. It's a 90 degree USB-C to straight. This is to pass power up to this smart expansion dock. Smart expansion dock has four pre-programmed buttons, each with two functions. Single press is one function, double press is another. You've got a USB, a USB-C, and then a pass-through for more cables. This also has a light on it so it'll light up the inside of the console when you open the console so very cool what are the functions this will do well like i said it's awesome for parents and uber drivers because with a double click you can open the front passenger door with another double click you can open the back passenger door and you can open the front the trunk as well as manually precondition the battery and why is that a big deal Manual preconditioning is awesome, especially if you use third-party chargers like Electrify America or ChargePoint. Teslas will precondition on their way to a Tesla supercharger, and preconditioning means that it's heating the battery up to an optimal temperature or cooling it down, which is about 115 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's what it says when it says preconditioning on the way to charger for faster charge. It wants to get that 115 degrees Fahrenheit for a really fast, perfect temp. But if you're going to Electrify America or some other place, it may not precondition. There's no way that I know of to manually go in the screen and ask it to. This will. So now we can precondition our battery on the way to a third party CCS1 charger. Really, really cool feature. And it's one that I think you should really look into. Again, 99 bucks from Honcho. And you get a discount with my code. So let's go around to the front and let's put it in and test it out. And as you can see too, my beautiful wife We'll show you that the trim piece is all nice and secure. I'm gonna go ahead and move my seat back here and she's gonna give you a uh, view as I go ahead and pop this guy in. All right, so as you can see, currently we have this charging dock from EV Base with these great pull out charging cables and we're going to take this out lightly used so be on the lookout for a giveaway soon on this i'll be doing another video and we'll be doing a giveaway on this so i'm going to go ahead and remove it pretty straightforward little coffee stuff in there from creamers and that's what this looks like again it's from ev base and you can watch one of my videos on it as well if you want to check it out we'll do a giveaway on this soon all right here's our dock first thing we'll do we'll plug in our usb-c to the bottom this will get power out to the outlets. We'll plug it into one of the USB-Cs down here. There we go. And then we want to make sure we got our flashlights facing the right way. They are. And we'll just slide this guy in. Bang. Just like that. It is that easy to install. And it is in place. So I'm going to go ahead and we close this. Hey, look at that, what a nice fit and finish. So we'll go ahead and have my wife hop in the back and we'll test out these functions. All right, we got this guy in successfully. Let's test it out. So first, single press, should turn on the reading lamp. Yep, it does. Single press again, should turn it off. The triangle, single press, should open the glove box. Now this is interesting, I have pin to open glove box set. So if you were to go in here and use the glove box, I have to put in my pin number, but this bypasses that. So FYI, that if you hit this once, even if you have a pin to lock your glove box, it will open it. The next one is gonna be fold my mirrors. And yep, that works wonderful. And then I push it again, they fold back in. Again, I think this is a pretty cool device if you're an Uber driver or a parent. And now, finally, the star, one single press, is manually precondition the battery. The only thing that is a little weird is it doesn't tell you anything that it's doing it. But I'm going to assume it is because everything else is working. 
So that was our single press, right? We had um, reading lamp, glove box, mirror fold, and manual precondition, which is an awesome feature if you're doing CCS third-party charging. But now, ooh, the fun ones. And you can use all the single presses while you're driving. You have to be in park now to use the double press. So double press on the circle. Oh, excuse me, long, you gotta do long double press. And you open up the driver or the passenger front door. Really cool. Now we do the triangle, two long double presses. And we've just popped open the back door. The square, two long double presses will pop our frunk. And the star, two double presses will pop our hatch. So overall, a really cool device. When we open this up, we wow. get light. We've got a light so we can see what's going on. We've also got more uh, connections here for charging and we've got a feed through so we can use our other USB-C on the bottom. All right, folks, hey, thank you for joining me here at Tesla Northwest and EVs. I hope you enjoyed the camera work. My wife did her best and I'm sure it was great. Join us on the uh, flip side later on for more cool stuff. We're gonna be testing portable chargers. We're gonna be talking about a new Model S that we got, it's a 2014. We'll talk about my daughter's Model 3 and all kinds of other things, plus a road trip with FSD shenanigans in about a week. So hit that like and subscribe. Uh, links are in the descriptions, and I think this is a cool product. I would recommend it, especially if you're a parent or an Uber driver and you want those extra functionalities. All right, folks, thanks. Catch you later.